Man, very tough game. Um, didn't see Jaquan Walton get injured, had him was having a great game like he was at Wichita. Don't know what happens to still. I guess I won't know until I watch film. He was getting worked on when we came back and um, said there was something about his ribs. Then Naquan Tomlin gets, he said he couldn't see, couldn't go back into the game. It just seems like when it rains, it pours, man. When stuff starts going south for your team, like we lose a 20-point lead, come on the road to a hostile environment, have a chance to win the game, we get a technical. <laughs> we do everything possible to give this game away and did. And uh, it just seemed like, man, you, just, you, gotta, you gotta figure out You got to figure out in certain parts of the game, or I should say, I'll state this, it's starting to implode as far as now we're starting to have injuries. We haven't had any injuries all year. Versus Caleb, now it's Jaquan, now it's Naquan, and Malcolm is nursing. So we're going to see what we're made of. I'm used to seeing this Memphis versus the other Memphis and being in adversity. And uh, we just need to see where this, where this is going to take us. Penny, aside from the injuries you just mentioned, y'all were up by seven or eight with nine minutes to go, had all the momentum seemingly. Mm -hmm. what, what happened down the stretch when y'all put five up? Man, stop going inside. That was the game plan to get the ball inside. And um, we just didn't stick with that because Malcolm and David were both on the post. David was on the right post, Malcolm was on the left. And uh, it was working. They started trying to shrink the floor on it, but, it's, but it didn't matter. We just got to take care of the ball, man, and get the ball inside. We didn't, we didn't do that. The uh, three-pointer by James in the corner late. Uh, shaking your head. What did what, what you see there? And what was, I guess, the explanation that he got from, from he, David thought that Forbes was going to throw the ball across because that's what he's been doing. He pump faked at the cross, and David went for the steal, and then he threw it into Sion James, and he made it. On the last shot, your last period of time, you had two open looks. Uh, they just didn't go down, or did that what you that wasn't designed? That's what I designed, but I also had JQ with the ball on the wing, clear Naquan out, and if he didn't like David, he had the whole entire side. He gave it to David. David got a good look at it, just didn't make it. No, no. Once he missed the first one and got the second one, um, he had no chance to make that, that, that second one. I knew that right away. Tulane obviously came out hot from the three-point range, and y'all seemed to figure out some things. You know, mm -hmm. the first half, second half, it kind of reverts back to you know, some of the issues y'all have had in front of your defense in the past. What, what happened to cause that kind of reversion? Chogging back in transition, um, not paying attention to detail, and um, the same things, honestly, this is the honest truth, the same things that was happening in the 10-game win streak are happening now. It's just we're losing these games now. Hey, Malcolm would have had a great game if it had been a win. Uh, talk about his performance, eight blocks, eight rebounds. And when he went down, it seemed like that's when the tie got a turn and he got his foul. Yeah, unbelievable uh, game for Malco to, for us to lose. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, really proud of his effort. He played 31, I think 31 minutes. And um, I think, I, I don't know, I don't know how many minutes he played, Malco. It was uh, a career high. It was more than career high minutes and had eight blocks. Had nothing but praise about Malco. He's probably going to be sore for a long time <laughs> for playing this game, but he gave it his effort. You uh, talked a lot on Thursday about some of the behind the scenes issues that you guys have been having. Did you, I mean, I know today, I know, I know you lost the game today, but did you get the kind of response? We got the response that we wanted up until about the seven minute mark of the, of the game. Then it started to get a little blurry again with the guys not getting touches and started to kind of, you can see the body language start to change. So again, we got to keep working on that. We knew that this was going to be a problem with this team. Again, it's been going on for three months. So we just got to keep getting better and grow, you know, get into practice and keep growing and keep working. What are some things you've tried, you and the staff, to kind of rectify those chemistry problems and 
you know, keep guys engaged despite not getting touches, despite not scoring, whatever it may be? Um, practice, drills, um, film, individual meetings, team meetings, uh, just bringing awareness of it and just trying to get to the bottom of it. And it's just, you got to understand, man, these guys are off from all different teams. And this is some of the stuff that you're going to have to go through during the season when you have a team full of new guys. It's just, it was working for 10 games. We just kind of got through it, and now it's not. So we just got to keep fighting to get better. We just got to keep getting better. This is a team that can still grow and get better. We're still a ways, a ways away. When you've got that kind of stuff going on, and obviously you lose that last game, and, you know, by blowing a 20 point lead, you, you falter this game. How do you kind of keep things from kind of unraveling and still salvage the season? I've been here. I just thank God that I, I understand what adversity is. I've been here. We've always been a last four in team type team. So I've always tried to have to fight through adversity. We had our everything that we've earned these last two games. We just gave it away for the, for the whole season as hard as we worked to try to do the right things. And even though there were still things going on, we were winning those games. And now, again, you know, you got to fight through the adversity. We just have to fight through the adversity right now. Well, you get an off day tomorrow, and then I don't know if we'll be able to practice in our facility. We got to use someone else's gym, which is <laughs> it's fitting You're back here? right now. And um, you go back to work. What we've been doing and trying to do with these guys all year, we're going to keep doing the same exact things, keep showing them, keep teaching them, and hope that when the game starts, it changes. Two more. What's wrong with the facility? Sorry. Water. Water pressure too low. Coach, can you talk about Kevin? Yeah, he's always been a guy that does everything. He's gotten better every year. You know, to me, a couple years ago, he was more of a hothead. And then he started to get his skill better. Um, still has some moments. Last year, he was terrific. This year, he's, he's fantastic. He's gotten better every year. He controls the emotions better. He's, um, he just understands the game. His IQ is so high. And he understands how to... You know, make his teammates better. He knows where they need the ball. He's coachable because all he wants to do is win the game, and he shows that through in every possession. Coach, you got Jordan Brown, got Jordan Brown back now. How did, how did that all play out? What's the plan going forward? Uh, that's been happening for a couple of weeks, to be very honest with you. Um, we felt like we were going to need another body because of look at what happened to injuries. Caleb Mills. Um, that's not only why we had him come back, but it's like we need we knew we needed Jordan when he was ready that he would come back and he he's ready now. It just happens at a time where we're having injuries. So but that just came about with the guys just getting with him, talking and uh, and working things out and, and getting him back in the fold. He wanted to get uh, some reps in five on five before he before he played a game. And uh, you know, I respected that I wasn't gonna put him in the game today. Coach, you have out of the two lane in the past, even just last season, having a couple losses and then the win to book in the season against them. What is either similar or different about them compared to last season or previous years? Uh, it seemed like this year we had control of the game. The last games last year, it seemed like we never had control. They were so death determined. They were more of a determined team last year. You know, they were like the hunters, you know. This year they feel like they belong. Like, hey, we belong. This year we're one of the guy, one of the teams. And I don't know if they played with the same fire, but last year they won those games because they controlled those games, executed it, and did what they had to do. This year, it seems like um, you know we were more in control of the game and just couldn't couldn't bring it home. They made the plays they had to make at the end, but that that, that seems to be the difference.